Hey YouTube world, this is Mr. Capo 483. Um, today I'm going to do a review on the Skype app for Android. Um, now, I did a search. Um, I'm going to be using the top one, the Skype mobile app that's available for all carriers versus the Skype mobile app that's only available for Verizon users. Um, the reason why I'm doing this top one is because I actually prefer that one significantly and I, I really I actually started with the Skype mobile on Verizon and switched over to the Skype one because the UI is significantly better on the Skype one versus the Skype mobile app. Now, in terms of made the biggest difference between the two, um, in the United States, the Skype mobile app um, only can make calls to other Skype users on Wi-Fi only. The Skype mobile app on Verizon, you can make calls using 3G only, only on Verizon 3G. Um, and neither one can do the opposite. They actually both will stop you. Um, the Skype mobile app on Verizon, if you're running on Wi-Fi, um, even even if you have your Wi-Fi turned on, it will turn back on the 3G on your notification bar and still make you run 3G when you're using the app. And the Skype mobile app, if you try to dial and you're on 3G, it'll give you a pop-up telling you that it's only, it's only available to make calls on Wi-Fi in the United States. Anyway, let's get into the app. Now the Skype app has four tabs, contacts, call, my info, and events. On the contacts, you have the option to you click in menu in groups. You can group it between all contacts, online contacts, Skype contacts, save phone numbers, recently contact, and block contacts. Um, just to show you guys how simply how the um, contacts look, I'll show you on my black one. You're gonna get a picture. You're gonna get their status in terms of if they're online, their way, um, don't want to be contact, things like that, as well as their Skype screen name or their name if they have one listed. The call is a simple dial pad that you can um, simply just dial, and when you dial, it actually is gonna show the flag for whatever country based on the area code and the international code that you're using which is a nice bonus feature my info tells you puts your screen name or your name your status and then through here you can click and you can change your online statuses there and actually see sign off this is actually one of the only two options of how to sign off sign off from Skype this is one and then use the other on this tab only and then finally you can edit your profile you can buy Skype credit you can set up an online number and you can do call forwarding and then the last tab is the event now the event tab first of all it has a notification telling you how much Skype credit you have and also on the Skype events it tells you if you have a missed call if you're currently instant messaging somebody it will show up under, under the Skype events now my complaints with the app is the following first the very small complaint if you go into all contacts on the desktop if you do that you're you can set it up so that all your online users are on the top of this list and then the bottom of the list is all offline these are both in alphabetical order alphabetical order for the online and in alphabetical order for the offline however if you do all contacts it just literally lists all of them together in alphabetical order and you have to search search and find who's online and who's offline um, it's a minor complaint um, the way to get around is just comp simply could group online contacts and all your online contacts will show only um, the call very good very simple nice um, nice UI and just to show you guys something it gives you the bop up in United States you can only make Skype calls over Wi-Fi and right now I'm running off of 3G only now my info like I mentioned before I think that it is kinda of ridiculous that they only have the sign out option only on this tab if you check every other tab there is no sign up option and this is a feature that if you have used AIM, eBuddy, uh, Mebo or any of the major basic um, instant messengers normally they have sign out on the menu on every tab if there are tabs so I just don't understand why it's, they, they took that out and finally my biggest complaint is the fact that if you have an event going on i.e. if you are instant messaging one of your friends Anytime that you click the notification bar, it's going to automatically pull you to that event. And even if you guys stop 
instant messaging each other or if you close out the conversation it's still going to take you back to that conversation um, the plus side besides the fact that this UI is significantly better than the Skype on Verizon app in terms of um, it sh actually shows you pictures the Skype on Verizon app doesn't show you pictures and it actually gives you the option of editing your profile significantly versus the Skype app Skype on, on Verizon app which doesn't even give you a my info tab I think that it's very clean it's fast I wish the tabs are a little slow but they have been getting faster um, it also will stay in, it also will stay in the background constantly um, it doesn't force close as much as the Skype on Verizon app which I dealt with um, just to give you like a little background information, I already had the Skype um, app running for a full day and a half, and it's never cut off. I actually, I was the one that cut it off. It never cuts off for me. Um, also, what's nice is I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get a chance to. But if somebody calls you on the Skype on Verizon app, I don't know if they change this option. If someone called you, it would take you to the Android dialer, and it would just say incoming call from a Skype user. It will not give you a picture of the person. It will not tell you the person's name. On this one, if you get a call, you get a, a box here that shows you the picture. It shows you accept or decline, and it's all, it basically shows you, it's basically all within the Skype app. So when I, when I see somebody calling, I know who the person's calling based on the picture and the name, and I can accept or decline. It's not going through Android. It's not a wishy-washy um, experience. I would recommend this app for any person who is a Skype user. I would recommend this app if you on, if you I have the Motorola Droid on Verizon. I would recommend that you use this one over the one that they pre-install on a lot of these Verizon devices. Um, I would even recommend even going far as far as rooting your phone, taking Titan back back up, and removing that Skype on Verizon because I know that you can't take it off if you're not rooted. Um, I think this app is significantly better. The only reason I would recommend the Skype over Verizon app is simply if you are a person that either is not of um, not using Wi-Fi um, it's not near Wi-Fi a lot or if, if you're a person who makes a lot of Skype calling because running off of 3G is a little easier because 3G is pretty it's pretty much available everywhere and Wi-Fi is available in certain areas but if you're a person that you know if you're near Wi-Fi normal time either at your workplace at the train station at your house um, airports I definitely recommend this app over the Skype on Verizon app. Anyway, this is Mr. Capo 43 signing off. I hope you enjoy my review. Peace out.